twice today on bills that would reopen the government, but neither is expected to pass. It's now day 34 of the shutdown. Nicole Killian is in Washington right now with the details. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi defended her decision to block the president's State of the Union address in the House chamber until the government shutdown ends. The State of the Union address should be at a time when we can talk about the State of the Union when government is not shut down. I'm glad we could get that off the table. President Trump decided against speaking that same night at a different location, tweeting he will give the speech after the shutdown is over. It's too bad with Nancy Pelosi what she's done. It's radical. Democrats, they've become a radicalized part. Or they really have. They've become a radicalized party. The Senate will hold dueling votes today on legislation to reopen the government. Neither is expected to pass. The Republican bill would give the president the $5.7 billion he wants for a border wall. The bill that President Trump has put together can't pass the House and can't pass the Senate. So it has no chance of passing. While the Democratic bill would fund closed government agencies through February 8th, but provide no money for the wall. The Democratic leader's dead-end proposal that stands no chance of earning the president's signature. As the shutdown drags on, many furloughed workers are relying on food banks to feed their families. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why. The 30 days of pay that some people will be out there's no real reason why they shouldn't be able to get a loan against it. The president has signed a bill authorizing back pay when the shutdown ends, but workers have no guarantee when that will be. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill.